Here's my new snowmobile. It's an Indy Voyager. I got about uh, 1,400 kilometers on it so far this year. And I have mixed feelings about it, but uh, right now I'm really happy that I got it. Where are we going, Chris? Grand Lake, I think. Grand Lake. The actual lake. Kill me something. Gonna go get some time again. Right on. Over here, and we'll see Colin. Colin's ready to go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Getting ready to go bird hunting. Yes! I see a strap, and I don't see her. Oh, there it is. The beautiful Ruger. Nice. Today we get a bird going on a assault. Arctic Cat and a Voyager. It is beautiful out. We are in Labrador. There's the host, Chris Woodward. Here's the cabin we've been staying in that is completely drifted in. Look at that. From all the snow we got this winter. But it should be a really good time. Really excited. We're going to go to a place called Grand Lake. And uh, it's a little gnarly getting in there, but it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully we get some birds along the way. So we're on... Uh, a road called GL6 and we're gonna go all the way to Grand Lake on this road and there's a ton of tracks around everywhere tracks everywhere My buddy Chris is uh, trying to see if he can spot some birds we've been seeing lots and lots of tracks tons of rabbit lots of birds where are they going? I'm all alone. Don't leave me. All right, we're heading into the middle of nowhere. You can see on my GPS. Actually, we're going downhill. We're up 200 and, uh, well, probably over 200 meters now. 228 right there, you can see. It goes up there. So we're well above, and we're going straight down to the lake. And when we get down there, we have a little campfire. Hopefully this wind kind of backs off a bit. And uh, eat some sausages. Awesome. We got a bird. That didn't take long. <laughs> the whole side of the Grand Lake are awesome for bird hunting. Really good. Is there another one there? Yeah, there's another one walking over the hill. But... Yeah. He's hidden there now. He's in there somewhere. The other bird that we want to get. I think there's a bunch. I see him. So here's the bird that we got. It's our fourth bird of the trip. Chris is first. I've had two. And Robin has had one. Colin has yet to get one. He's eager to get one with his new rifle. This was a very humane shot right to the head and it was over. Breast meat has been saved and uh, it should be good, wholesome, uh, yummy country food. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we get a few more. So now I'm hot on the trail of the other bird. We know it's around here somewhere. Lots of tracks. These are fox tracks right here. I'm pretty certain those are fox. Yeah. Pretty fresh too, actually. But here are the bird tracks. I'm trying to get this guy. See how close I can get to him just by walking with snowshoes. Pretty thick where I am here now. You can see I'm in the trees. There's the lake there. Let's see what happens. Well, I followed that guy for a bit and he ducked in under here underneath of all these trees here and he has gone into there somewhere so good for him he got away any luck calling lots of tracks no birds no
gonna double back the way I came. Any luck or what? No. Is that where they are bunked down for the night right there? Right here in the corner? That's where they're all bunked down. Okay, yeah. The mess of tracks in there. I found my other guy again, but then he disappeared and went way up the hill. Colin's down there, you can see him kind of. It's a bit windy out here for them. Yeah, it's windy out here for. The shot I did was right through the neck. Perfect shot. Right through the vertebrae. Yeah, and you clean them nice? That one's for Ian if you want. Yeah, good. No, I'm hoping to get a few more. We have stopped. We are out of the wind, thankfully. We're going to have a little fire. We are halfway up, maybe a third of the way up the trail. That brings you back to uh, L6. Chris, right now, is getting some wood, some really dry wood. Life in Labrador, can't beat it. Hey, Chris. That's a really nice looking hat you have on. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Worked all morning on this outfit. Right on. You take that whole thing apart. Big old fire. We're going to eat some sausages. We're all parked here. And it is a beautiful day, especially when you're out of the wind. This rifle, which is my rifle, the Henry, made in Brooklyn. 22 do a little flip here oh, I got the heart of the tree. 22 Collins right here is a Ruger <laughs> Jay's rifle open sights three for three Collins rifle Ofer. so right now the open sight Henry from Brooklyn Nice day or what, Colin? Beauty. How's your trip in Labrador so far? Awesome. Awesome trip, eh? Lots of kilometers, too. About uh, almost 500 now. Almost 500 kilometers. And we're all, only on Wednesday. We've got two more days. Uh, how many birds have you killed? <laughs> what? None yet. None, eh? Still working on it. My gun's still a virgin. Your gun is still a virgin. That's all right. Two more days. We'll get it. Lots hopefully. Of time. Yeah, lots of time. That's right. In the meantime, we're going to eat. Sausages in that bag. Oh. Good old Labrador fire starter. Got all that good old hair on it. Lots of hair. I usually bring some of that fire starter from the cabin in a Ziploc. But today I decided against it. All natural. All natural fire starting today. Man of the wild, Chris Woodward. <laughs> With his lighter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy as pie. <laughs> sausages, raw sausages over a fire. The last time you had raw sausages at the cabin, what happened, Colin? I got a case of the Mexican trots. <laughs> <laughs> and you ended up having to, it got so bad, you ended up actually having to get a shower at minus 30 out. Is that right? That's because I hit my pants. Whoa, beep word coming in there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you did. You but did. It was all good. <laughs> it's all part of the cabin experience. All right. It's about three in the morning. He's got to get a shower on the deck. We know that the sausage was not good. Or he's just sensitive to sausage.
two shot at one. Got him. the feathers from a bird that I just shot through the back. It died within about four seconds of the bullet hitting it and I have plucked it. It was up here. There's Colin's helmet. He has gone up for another look to see if he can find uh, any more birds and uh, sounds like maybe not. He's coming down the hill. So that's three birds on the day. And uh, they're in this bag right here. And that is almost the full meal. I'd like to have one more. I plan on giving them to my father-in-law. And uh, he has a, a way of cooking these, which apparently is just delicious. And I look forward to it. I do like eating partridge. And uh, apparently you melt cheese in it. So that would be pretty awesome. I think it's a goat cheese. So looking forward to that. In the meantime, I gotta try to find another one. So now I've come across wolf tracks. Here comes Colin. But uh, these guys, just to give you an example, how big this wolf is. Easily put my fist down in there. It looks like it's been a day or so since he's been through here. We're pretty close to our cabin, that's for sure. There's a lot of ptarmigan in there. We could eat, they're so fresh, like they're running around right now. Those other two that got away. I didn't even hear the shot. You're cooking them now, are you? You're gonna have uh, fried, fried ptarmigan. Well, congratulations.